Okay, so uh, moving on to one of the more complicated ones, uh, DDX and DDY. Um, these are uh, not necessarily inputs, um, but ways of calculating the screen space derivative. Uh, so when a graphics card renders um, some pixels to a screen, it actually renders the pixels in blocks of four, uh, known as a quad. Um, and then because it's rendered four pixels, it can work out the slope between them. So by taking this pixel and this pixel, you can work out a slope and the same in the other direction as well. Um, and these are what's called screen space derivatives. Um, they have a little bit of compression to them because they're being rendered in sort of four by four blocks, uh, but they can be used to calculate normals. Um, so for example, this node here, perturb normal HQ, um, comes with the engine. Uh, Let's just call it normal HQ. Um, these are used for calculating normals from a height map. Um, we'll be using these in the vertex painting examples later. Uh, but if we open it up and just double click, we can see here DDY and DDX. So taking the uh, screen space derivative of the world position, so the pixel being rendered, you can work out the, um, the, the bump map, or you can do a, a kind of like height map to normal uh, calculation. Um, which again, we'll go into in a little bit more detail later on, but just to include, they are here, DDX and DDY. Uh, if I do world position, DDY or DDX. Yeah, and you can see that banding. Oops, let's do it back on the sphere, um, where we've got the sort of um, compression happening there. Uh, I believe it's doing it on vertices as well. So uh, slightly more complicated uh, and advanced um, thing but that's what they're doing is screen spaced derivatives um, and you can use that to calculate normals uh, amongst other things so something to uh, maybe be aware of in more advanced materials that you're making